Sure it will, sir. Rex, does that mean we get to talk to Rex again in this game? Awesome sauce. Garrus, didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. <laughs> Gives me something to focus on. We're going to need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Sovereign didn't go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Still not convinced I should have left Palavin behind. There was a boy back on Earth. Couldn't have been more than six or seven. I watched him die as the Normandy escaped the attack. Somehow I'm still alive. And he's not. Being right about the Reapers has never felt much like a victory, has it? We both knew this fight would be tough. Damned if the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Or pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Huh. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. Yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember... A certain Turian friend of yours isn't sleeping any better, and he'd be more than happy to meet you at the bar and drink you under the table. <laughs> Something else you want to talk about? That's great. I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. In this war... That's not going to happen. So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After what happened to you out there in Batarian space, I knew time was running out. For all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. He used to work for CSEC, didn't he? I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. To put it mildly. Hmm. But... He still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one, was a friend of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector base. I'm not sure even I'd believe it. I had to admit that parts of it sounded crazy, meeting Vigil, talking to Sovereign on Vermeer. But my father just listened. It's what he did in his days at CSEC putting together all the pieces. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. Huh. What did you do with it? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie, 
Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. Then if he did try, well, we'll just find another Primarch. <laughs> I noticed General saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of succession are you these days? Let's not go there. Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavin when this is over. Yeah, somebody who knows how to hold a hammer. <laughs> you mentioned you still had family on Palavin. My father is there. Sister, too. How long has it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get just as old. Pretty soon, blind hope is all we'll have left. And I hate being blind. That's all for now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. <laughs> good to have you back, Garrus. Armor piercing ammo. Eh, it's nice, but I don't need it. I have disruptor ammo. Knock, knock, Liara. Let me in. You're positive you don't want to come over and talk? No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Garrus. I'll be fine, Liara. Just gathering some thoughts. All right. Nothing in there. Something on your mind? Just old memories. I spent a few weeks on Palavin South Peaks when I was very, very young. A Turian there teased me a little, saying that the mountains went on forever. I remember believing him. When I looked up at Palavin from its moon, I saw those same mountains burning. Um. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Feel free to pause and read if you're interested. Nothing important. At your service. Dooby dooby doo. Dooby 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 doo. Oh, forgot. We can check out the map. Even though I think everybody's in the same place. Except now we have Edie. here see if engineer Adams has anything to say about Edie having a body nothing to report commander all right never mind then Wow, that's a loud engine. I don't know if I could stand to be down here hearing that sound all day. I have to ask, do you all war reporters look so, um, feminine? I mean, you're made up so well. We actually have a research department for that. They focus test looks, voice, manner. Apparently, girly is good. Sorry, pay more attention. Salarians relate to high pitched voices. And Turians? Turians are nuts. A civilization of war nerds. Loyal viewers, but they write the creepiest fan mail. Huh. Uzmek was that. She has got some curves. Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. Alrighty. You know, for a reporter, you don't have a whole lot to say. I'm thinking you're going to be like Zaid or Kasumi and just not have much to say. Um, let's go to the captain's cabin. Check out uh, Garrus's outfits. Since we can't do that from the regular terminal...
Oh, and Edie, too. I forgot. She's squad mate now. A <laughs> black. What is that? Like an... I can't tell if that's supposed to be like a white suit or orange because of the lighting. That. 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 You only have three options, uh, Edie. It's kind of lame. I guess we'll go with that. And yeah, we'll go with that for now. Garrus. Hey, you got a camo outfit too, huh? So you only have three options as well then. Hmm. Let's go with that look for you, I guess. Oh, we can check our armor too. I forgot about that. We got a few new pieces. Um, I think we got some shoulder ones. Health, weapon damage five percent, headshot damage ten percent. What? I don't. I don't get this. How would shoulder pieces help with headshot damage and weapon damage? Vi aim. Why would shoulder plating have vi aim? Health. Oh, it's bigger. Um, let's just go with it. Weapon damage. Sure, why not? <laughs> and health or weapon damage 10%. Sure, let's go with weapon damage. So what's it look like now? Well, we don't have any health boost at all. <laughs> so we're just relying on basic health at this point. I could put a helmet on for a little bit of health boost, but nah, whatever. It's not worth it. Got some shield regen, weapon damage, hit shot damage, and melee damage though. So we'll be killing things faster and hopefully that means we won't necessarily need the extra health. Alrighty then. Let's go talk with Joker and Edie. This should be fun. Joker's probably fallen in love with Edie, and Edie's probably wondering what is wrong with Joker. Commander, are you alright? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I did not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems, but thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper Invasion Front will hit them soon. I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension Project is the best training facility in the galaxy for human biotics. Yes, I sent a young man named David Archer there. I'm just surprised they're still open. Some of their work has Alliance support. That might be why they stayed. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call, so normally I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. 
Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Good catch. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer. Good catch. Thank you, Commander. Lovely. We have another side quest. Commander. I think that'll probably be the next mission we go after. Once we take a stop to the Citadel. Joker, how do you like Edie? Hey, Commander, check out my co-pilot! So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? <laughs> Come on, Commander, don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was gonna install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that! I would've baked a cake! <laughs> I am right here, Jeff. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. There's a whole lot of crap out there and needs a bullet between the eyes. Plus, we might need something calibrated. <laughs> you'll, you'll come to realize that everybody in this game that knows Garrus or talks about Garrus will make fun of his calibrations because that's a, that's a throwback to Mass Effect 2 where he said that all the time. Commander? Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears... adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. <laughs> Perhaps we should speak privately. I'll be over here, flying the ship, <laughs> What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Hmm. Huh. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer? Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. Awesome sauce. Um, anything else to say? Yes, Shepard? How did you and Joker make it out of Dry Dock to rescue us? Oh, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. <laughs> when the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI, so the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of operator control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. 
This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out of the airlock. <laughs> suppose not. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. <laughs> That was a joke. Oh, Shepard's expression there was priceless. That was that was awesome. Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. Its optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. Nice. It's pretty cool that Edie has a new body. New squad bait for the win. Any new messages? No. Alright, um... Did we level up? Yes, we did. Lovely. Let's max out our cloak. Fire a power. Increase sniper rifle damage. Yeah, we'll be able to fire the power, I guess. Two points. Save that for later. Journal. Sir Kesh. Grissom Academy. And a bunch of Citadel stuff. Lovely. Looks like we got a few more systems opened up. Uh, there's the Shrike Abyssal thing that we have to go... Let's go get that real quick. I was going to go to the Citadel, but... That uh, one Volus on the Citadel wants us to get something from one of these places. I'm not sure which one, so we might as well pick it up while we're here. 
and then we'll have that quest done when we go to the Citadel. Be a little bit more efficient that way. I think it's from this area. I hope it is. Um, I suppose we'll go to this system first and make our way back. Signal confirmed. Maybe we'll scan the other systems too while we're at it. Yep, there's the obelisk. That's what the Volus wanted, so we'll I could just leave, but... I'm going to get the other stuff while we're at it. Fifty percent acquired. Faster than light jump successful. Evasion successful. Oh, there it is. Reapers eluded. Faster than light jump successful. Fuel, goodbye. Oh my god, nope! Get, get out of the way! Oh my god, go faster. Evasion successful. Whew, that was close. No! I didn't want to do that. Reapers eluded. Alright. Well, that was exciting. Not really, but whatever. Save. I found something. Credits. than light jump successful. Evasion successful. Reapers eluded. Faster than light jump successful. Evasion successful. Reapers eluded. I'm trying to get to this. Faster than light jump successful. But it keeps putting me over here. Evasion successful. There, that's a little better maybe. More fuel. Get out of dodge. Reapers eluded. Faster than light jump successful. Evasion successful. Bye. And we've been there. Oh, that's where Grissom Academy thing is. Alright. Well, we might as well get the system and then go to the Citadel.
Signal confirmed. Credits. eluded on to the citadel that was easy enough You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Um, let's go to the hospital. We got a few people there to meet. I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. I'm gonna reset for Apps, bring it back. <laughs> 